So in the turning shop or the turning cell here at Optimum Precision, Liam, we, we're, we're going to talk about turning, obviously, and sliding head turning. How long have you had these star machines, or this particular one, this uh, SB20? This, this particular machine we've had since 2014. Uh, it was our first star and our first sliding head. What, what pushes a company to go into sliding head turning? Uh, well, we'd seen the benefits of sliding head. Um, we hadn't obviously previously had one, but we could, we could see a lot of the work we do would benefit from having that type of machine, and it would open us up to uh, quite a substantial amount more of uh, more potential. Let's have, let's have a look at what we've got here. So, so th tell us about this part, what it is, and, and how quick you make it, and all that type of stuff. Okay, this particular part is it's a rotor. Um, before the sliding head, it used to be done on a conventional lathe and then milled using a fourth axis. With this machine, we've done it, do it all in one operation, around about seven minutes. Is that a big saving from, in total from how you were doing it before? I mean, it's quite a big saving in that there's less uh, manual handling on it, less operations, it doesn't tie up two machines, um, and it's better for the customer because the part comes off complete in one process. And with this SB20 machine, do you do you do up to 20 mil bar? Can you go beyond that, or what's the majority of the size of the work you're machining? Uh, well, this one we we can only go up to 20 mil. We do sort of generally go from anywhere between five, eight, up to 16, really. Some 20s, but with the other machine now, we don't go up as high. And when we talk about sliding head turning, what what sort of impact has it had on the company since you've been been in this arena? Well, it's freed up a lot of uh, capacity from our mills, um, obviously freed up a lot of capacity from our conventional lathes as well. So, uh, And also the, the cycle times generally do seem to be quicker. Now, it's obviously worked for you because you bought a second machine. Yeah. So let's go and have a look at this uh, SR32J. Where, when did this machine come in? And again, what was the logic behind this purchase? Well, this machine came in in August 2016. And the logic for buying this one was that being the 32, uh, it does have a JBS on it. So we can go up to, I believe, 38 mil bar. Obviously, it just sort of allows us to do a wider range of components, really. Would you go up to 35 or 36 mil? Would, would you ever get that far? We haven't done yet. Uh, I'm pretty sure the biggest we've done is around about 30 at the moment. Okay, now with, with this sort of machine, you, you're looking at reductions or re removing material and getting parts off quicker. With that, there are, there are cycles like balance turning. Do you do, you, do you do all that? Do you get the best out of the amount of tools you've got in the machine? Generally, we haven't done any balance turning yet, I believe. Um, so it's only been here for around about six months. So we are continually training our uh, programmers on that, and it's something that we can look for in the future. Now let's have a let's go over to these because you've got two two parts here. Just talk to us about what these are and and, and what you're achieving tolerance-wise, and, and you know, and uh, how you're making them. Okay. Well, these parts, I'm not too sure on the their function. Uh, but previously they were machined on the conventional lathe in two operations and then put on a milling machine and milled in two operations. With this machine here, the 32, they're done in, in one hit and I believe there's around about a 30-35% reduction in cycle time on them. A big saving then. And what, what, is there a, what quantity would you be making or pushing those through the shop in? Uh, generally two, three hundred, if not more. So that's not massive though, so you're not talking thousands and thousands? No, uh, a lot of our customers generally, I mean, with the type of business we are, we only really do s smaller numbers, um, but it certainly helps with, with those. Okay, now, burning question, where lots of engineers watching this, this uh, program, they'll be thinking to themselves, so why star? So what, what would your answers? There are other sliding head options. Star's obviously your, your machine of choice, and there's got to be a good reason for that. So what is it? Uh, well, to be honest, I've had sort of previous experience of Star. I know they're a good machine. Um, everyone that I know that's, that's used them or had them before, you know, compliments them. So to us, it was sort of a logical decision to go with Star, really. And are you running these on uh, neat cutting oils? Are you running on coolants? How, what's your uh, method of, of coolant choice? Uh, neat cutting oils on those, yeah. And do you, what, what, what do you see as the benefit to using that? Do you, longevity of the machine, better surface finish on parts? What's the, uh, what's the attraction to you? Um, to be honest, I think, I think it is a bit of a better surface finish. Uh, the tool life does seem to last a bit longer. Um, so, yeah. And, when it, and it's quite exciting for you guys now, I suppose, whatever job comes through the door, up to the bar diameter, 
you're, you're going to be competitive, aren't you? You're going to be able to challenge for it and you know you're going to be able to do it. Yes, yeah, I'd like to hope, uh, hope and think so, yeah. yeah. So it's exciting times ahead on, on, well, on everything here, but on the sliding head turning for optimum precision, Liam? Yes, definitely, yeah. yeah. Uh, looking forward to the future on that one.